Hello, Winnipeg. Let's talk about the real estate market numbers for 2024 March. All the numbers are in. We're going to go over residential, detached. We'll go over attached homes. We'll go over condominiums. There's going to be lots of information of what's gone on in 2024 so far, as well as the month of March for real estate. So all the data does come from uh, MLS. I'm Stephen Olenek, Remax Performance Realty and uh, team leader of Team Olenek. I'm all this information that is putting together here is of my own opinion, and it's not the opinion of Remax. So let's first stop off, start talking about uh, residential detached. We take a look at active listings. They're showing 1,524 active listings with 745 sales. So almost half the inventory is selling out one month. That's going to put us into a seller's market and a good seller's market. Because basically for a, um, a seller's market or a month of inventory, zero to four months is a seller's market. Four to six months is a balanced market and beyond six months is a buyer's market. And you take the amount of sales divided into the active listings. So basically uh, you've got two months worth of inventory in that right in that area and you'd be sold out. That puts you in a very good seller's market. And when you're two months or under, you usually start seeing prices on the rise. And we are seeing that with the average sale price of uh, of the markets of Winnipeg and surrounding area, seeing at 418,000, the average square footage around 1,300. Now, if we take a look at condos, there are 409 active listings and 187 sales so just slightly over two months of inventory there also 273,000 as the average selling price and just over a thousand square feet and then acts of uh, residential detached homes or I mean attached homes pardon me um, 245 sales 84 listings you know getting in that two and a half months worth of inventory again and it uh yeah, good good market there. So everything in a seller's market, average selling price, 373. And we're seeing those areas go up the uh, residential attached because there's a lot of new builds going on in areas. Lots are getting smaller. They're doing duplexes with attached garages. And those are getting up into the upper 400s, low 500s for those new ones. So let's take a peek at the condo sales. Look at just some numbers here. Uh, average price over last year, up 12%. Uh, sales over last year up 20%. New listings over last year up uh, um, 4%. And the average square footing sitting at uh, 1,046. So I've been asked again, what is the real estate market? And now this is for MLS sales detached, residential detached. And if you take a look at the line curve here, sitting every month, you know that just below 800, you know, in between the 6 to 800, 700, and then 2021, that 2020, 2021, and into 22, that was an anomaly there, and uh, that was a perfect storm, and uh, I don't know if we'll ever see that again. Look at, you know, almost 1,300 sales, and that was throughout Canada, there was the biggest uh, sale prices in those years. Then we actually saw a little bit of a drop, we're almost, you know, just kind of average, maybe even a little bit below, and now we're on the upward trend again, you know, just to being right at the top of average or, or above there. We'll go over some of those numbers through that. Now, broke down uh, into different areas, you know, all uh, home prices in Winnipeg and surrounding areas, showing rural municipalities average 386, northern part of Winnipeg average 341, uh, that northeast area 387, and uh, 486 for the southeast and 543 for the southwest. Now, if you're wondering about what your home is worth in a particular neighborhood, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be happy to do a home market evaluation for you. Or if you're a buyer or seller in seller wondering what your home is going to sell for a buyer that's you know how much am i going to have to pay let's dive deep go into the data of a specific type of home and we could show you what that home is worth in today's market and uh, what you expect to pay for it as a buyer which you should expect to sell it for as a seller and um and how long it should take to sell Going at, uh, looking at all the areas around Winnipeg for uh, March 2024, looking at all of MLS is up 11% over the previous year for sales units, up 8% for the sales price. Uh, Winnipeg in uh, Winnipeg Central, the whole Winnipeg area, up 9% sales price, up per, up. 9% sales price. I'm having trouble speaking this morning. And uh, up 9% for um the amount of units sold to as well. Lake Country, 10% and 13. And you can see all the areas up at Steinbeck. Steinbeck is down on the sales unit, 11%, but prices were up 12%. Uh, again, if you look in any neighborhood, want to know what's going on, reach out to us. 
This one here shows you all of MLS. So this is going to be uh, detached, attached, condos, everything all combined. And we are going to see this on the five-year averages. Any sales volumes are going to be down because of that 2021 2020 spike where it went up there and dollar volumes will also be down on the five year but you know the 2024 to 2023 numbers active listings up one percent sales up 11 percent and dollar volume up 21 percent even the five year average of active listings is up and you're going to see listings up on that fiber because there was also a shortage of listings on there we get into a residential detached also, you know, some of the numbers here, we're taking a look at it, listings are actually down a little bit uh, for 2024 for residential detached. Um, sales, though, were up, you know, 695 sold in 2023, 745 here, and 386 last year was the average selling price. We jumped up to uh, showing 418. Now, all the, uh, all the residential uh, um, detached, uh, for Winnipeg and then outside of Winnipeg down here. So these were all areas and then this is Winnipeg right here. So again, listings down a little bit, sales up, prices up. You can see them there. We get into it here. This is uh, this first chart here is um, the month of March. This is January 1st to March. So you can see prices have jumped up in March. And now as we go down here, this is condo sales. Again, all condo sales um, for MLS. And now Winnipeg and surrounding area. Now this is just Winnipeg and this is outside of Winnipeg. So we are seeing a little bit of, uh, of uh, something different outside of Winnipeg. The average price was actually down on condos and sales were flat. Same, 27 and 27. Taking a look at condo sales of Winnipeg and surrounding areas, month of March, 273, and January 1 to the end of March, 273, 320. Difference of $300 in it, so very close to each other. These are your residential attached numbers. Again, everything's showing uh, pretty much up. Active, Other than active listings are almost the same. If you look at sales, we're up 15, uh, 15%, 73 in 2023, 84 in 2024. And uh, also Winnipeg up outside of Winnipeg. Again, we are seeing a, a little bit downward. Sales were down. Um, 29 sales last year, 18 this year, but yet dollar volume is up. Same type of thing. We're looking very close here with our numbers for uh, for attached homes. The uh, month of March at 373, about a $2,000 difference from the beginning of January all the way through uh, to the end of March. So let us know what real estate questions you have. Are you thinking of buying, thinking of selling? We'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, I want to help educate you on the real estate market, help you with your decision making. And uh, there's a great saying out there that uh, people don't know how much you care until, or they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And uh, we just want to help you. Have a fantastic uh, day and uh, look forward to chatting you soon with our next real estate update.